Good morning. Today is the start of month three on the AT for me. So two months ago today, I summited Springer Mountain and started this journey. And it's crazy to me that I've already made it two entire months out here and over 800 miles. It's just crazy. Um, right now, I am climbing up like a four and a half mile climb to Bald Mountain. And then after that climb, there's just a series of little ups and downs. It's kind of like a ridge walk um, over the mountain. As I was talking a minute ago, there were a whole bunch of slack packers going south that were passing me. So I knew a couple of them and I stopped filming so I could talk and say hi to them. Um, but after my big climb up Bald Mountain today, I have a series of little ups and downs um, over the rest of the day. And it looks like a ridge walk um, that I'll be doing, but I'm not completely sure. Um, and my plan right now is to go about either 18 or 18 and a half miles. I can't remember which. Um, and it's gonna be a good day. I slept so well last night. I was very tired. I did not sleep very well at my hostel the other night. So I was so grateful for a flowing creek for background noise and just a quiet place to sleep. So that was a good feeling. And I'm out of breath because this is a steep climb. The wind has picked up and it's gotten to be kind of chilly today. Um, the climb though, I'm still working on it. Pretty good. I think I'm maybe about a mile now from the summit. But boy, the wind just kind of whips and cuts right through ya. It's a cold day. I made it to the top of Bald Mountain. This is one of those mountains where you you think you're at the top and then you start going down, but then you have to climb up again. So then you think you're at the top. So there's a couple false summits, but overall it really was not that bad of a climb up here. Um, I really took my time coming up though. I had good cell service. So I was checking my phone and um, I just took my time, but that's all right. Sometimes it's all right to hike a little slow. Um, so that was a four and a half-ish mile climb. And now I start this, I think it's just like a very long bridge walk for the rest of the day. Um, a lot of ups and downs, but nothing significant. Um, yeah. And this is very random and a side comment. But every time I wear my hood up with this mid layer that I have on, I feel like I'm one of the hobbits in Lord of the Rings with their capes that they wear. And it secretly makes me kind of happy. And then I start thinking about going to Mordor and destroying the ring. And anyways, very random. <laughs>
I have been so cold. Finally, I decided to check the weather and it's 37 degrees, but with the wind chill, it feels like 28 degrees. That's why I'm so cold because with the wind chill, it's below freezing. So that was enlightening. There is some sort of frozen precipitation coming down. It's not snow. I think it's like hail, um, but really, really small. So it's not like painful. Let me see, let me turn you around and see if you guys can see it. All right, I don't know that you can really tell from here. But if I point you at the ground, if you can see little white specks, I think those are little pieces of hail. Still cold, still windy, but the views are 10 out of 10 and they make the more rough weather conditions totally worth it. Um, of course, if it wasn't exposed, it wouldn't be so windy, but the exposed areas is what's so beautiful. So I'm not complaining. I've hiked 14 miles so far today, and I have another four and a half to go. It's been going all right. Um, these little ups and downs are not too difficult, and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, it's still chilly, but I'm lower now into the mountains, so the wind isn't whipping around as much as it was earlier. Um, everything's been good. Not a lot to update on, just hiking. So I've gotten off trail. I'm about half a mile of trail miles to my campsite, but there's no water at my campsite. And um, there was a comment that said that there's a water source 500 feet off the trail. So now I'm looking for it and I hope I find it because otherwise I'm really low on water for tonight. But I'm sure I'll find it eventually. I am in a predicament. I foolishly was counting on that water. It's not even marked as a water source. There was just a comment saying that there was a good sized creek down here and it's only half a mile from the campsite. So I thought, well, I'll wait to get water then because then it'll be less weight to carry. 
but I can't find it. <laughs> so as you can hear it, I don't hear anything. So now I have to decide what to do. Well, I think this is one of the biggest mistakes that I've made so far. I just took off my pack and like walked into the area that I thought the water source might be. Um, could not find it. So now I'm walking back uphill to get back to the AT and then I'm gonna have to hike south to get water. Um, I've not had to do that and it's discouraging. Um, what happened is I knew this was gonna be a dry campsite and so there's not water till four miles after the campsite. So I was planning to fill up both of my bottles plus my two liter bag of water. Um, and I knew that there was a comment for this place, which is only half a mile away. And I thought, well, that's a lot easier than carrying it for a couple miles. So I'll do that. Um, but in the back of my mind, I knew that was risky. So my plan was to get water for my bottles sooner, but not for my two liter bag until I got here. But I was hiking with somebody and we were having a really good conversation and I was moving quick and I just didn't feel like stopping for water. So consequently, both of my bottles are nearly empty and I have to get water to camp. There's just no, no question about it. So I just got back to the AT. I'm just seeing the sign now. I'm gonna have to head south. Such a bummer. Well, I've been having a little pity party, feeling bad for myself. It's just so stupid. Like, it's 1.2 miles south to get the water. So that's 2.4 miles I'm adding onto the day. It's gonna be okay. It's not that bad. There are much worse things in life. Um, this is just a minor <laughs> inconvenience for the day, but I certainly learned a lesson. That's for sure. So I filled up with water and then I filled my two liter bag and I strapped it onto my pack. And I just thought I would show real quick how I strapped this on. So this is the back of my pack right here. And I used a hair tie right here to like loop the bag um, through so it won't fall off. And then I just like cinched it down real tight. And this should be all right to carry. When I lost my water bottle right after hot springs, I did this a couple times to allow myself to have enough water. All right, I'm finally back to the point where I had to turn around and it is just so cold today. There's been these huge wind gusts in the last mile. Um, kind, of, kind of brutal weather <clears throat> earlier. I was at a shelter just to take a quick break and there were three section hikers there and um, they were miserably cold, not prepared for the weather. So I gave them my last hand warmers, um, figured I didn't need them as much as they did. Also, I've been carrying them since Neil's Gap. <laughs> so, I really didn't need them. 
I have good gear that will keep me warm tonight. Um, but just working on this last climb, I think I have 0.4 to go. I really want to get there. A relief to be in my tent for the night. It is so cold outside. I just checked the forecast and it says that there's like a low of 40, 38 with 40 degree um, wind gusts and it is cold. <laughs> so I'm going to sleep with my water filter tonight even though it's not supposed to get below freezing. I just don't want to take any chances because it feels like it's freezing like it's just a cold night um ended up being a pretty decent day going back for the water was definitely a bummer um but it is what it is and I'm just thankful that it wasn't any further and that I have the option to get water so it was it was all right um it's kind of early it's only like seven but I am cozied up for bed because of the cold. So uh, I hope everyone has a good night.